Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Today I have a first impressions video on this new Iraq Cocosin, Cocosin, I'm not too sure, uh, cream compact foundation. I'm going to say Cocosin. The shade is CR2, or at least that's, that's the shade that I picked up. It's uh, called Light. And this is what the product looks like. It's a cream foundation, which is something that I have little to no experience with. Um, I think I used a cream foundation a really, really long time ago, but it was just a drugstore one, so um, and I ended up not liking it, so I returned it. So I really don't have much experience with cream foundations, but this is what it looks like. Uh, you can flip this, and it has a nice little sponge underneath. I'm not not too sure how I want to apply this. I think that I'm going to start by trying to apply it with my Sigma um, F82 round kabuki brush because I think that that might pick up the product most nicely, but I might end up going to fingers or a sponge, who knows. Um, I am going to start, however, by putting on a little bit of this Makeup Forever HD Primer. I got a sample of this and I'm really wanting to try it. Also, I need my makeup to last until like 11 o'clock midnight tonight because I'm working really late, so I think a primer will be a good thing to start off with, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on and yes I am totally aware that the primer might affect how the foundation goes on or how long it lasts but I really don't wear foundation a whole lot unless I have a primer on just because whenever I wear foundation I'm usually doing sort of like an all-out look where I need the foundation to last so this is kind of what I would do normally so it's what I'm going to do for this first impressions. Okay, so now that the primer has been smoothed on, and so far I actually really like this primer, <laughs> um, I'm going to go into the Lorac foundation. Like I said, I'm going to start by trying to apply this with my Sigma F82 brush, so we'll see. I'll just kind of swirl it in here. Um, just from the swatches that I did on my wrist when I was at Sephora, I can tell that the, the texture of this is a lot different than most cream foundations. It's a little bit dry to the touch, and then like as you kind of warm it up, it starts to become more creamy. I'm just going to actually use a little bit of that on my nose. So I don't know how that's going to affect how this applies, but we will see. Alright, so I got a little bit of the product on, now I'm just going to smooth this over my skin. So far the coverage seems to be pretty nice. I think I'd call it about light to medium coverage. Um, since it's a cream product, I'm sure you could build it up. It is looking pretty good on the skin. The only thing I can notice is that it is clinging a little bit to my dry patches, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little bit weird, I think, for a product that's, you know, kind of like a cream, I think, to cling to drier spots, but it does claim to be a hydrating product, so we'll see how well it seems to hydrate those areas. And part of that may also be the method of application. You know, maybe this brush just tends to um, micro exfoliate those areas so it, you know, makes the dryness a little bit more noticeable. Okay, so I'll zoom you guys up so you can get a better look. Um, this is just one layer of the foundation. I do have like a little red zit right there because I was picking at it earlier, so I don't really feel like that's the foundation. I don't think it could cover that just because it's so red, but um, I will zoom you guys up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the dry patches. So I'm super personal and I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but I can definitely see some dryness around here that it accentuated. It kind of filled into those spots on my nose, which I'm not a huge fan of. Also, I have this little tiny like post acne mark that has a little bit of dryness on top of that it sort of accentuated. Also, up here by my eyebrows, you can kind of see where it um, clung to some of the hairs and stuff, which I'm not a huge fan of either. Uh, I really don't like foundations that do that. I find though a lot of foundations do, so I mean, I'm not really too upset about it, but little bit concerning. Um, I will probably spray this with some of my uh, makeup sitting spray, the Chill one by Urban Decay, just to kind of get rid of some of the dryness and also to make the makeup last a little bit longer. But so far, I just don't really like what it did around my nose, but the coverage is really nice. It feels pretty good on the skin. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see how long it wears and how I tend to like it throughout the day. By the way, uh, the shade match is pretty nice. It seems to have blended in fine to my skin. So the shade is pretty good. Um, I think that what I will do is probably just apply my blush and my bronzer and then go over with my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray just to give a little bit more moisturization back into the skin. Um, because like I said, around the nose, that's just kind of concerning. That's not anything, that's just not how I want my skin to look is what I'm trying to say. So I will go over a little bit with that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it seems to wear throughout the day and what it does so I will be back in a little while for a check-in. Hey guys so it is time for a check-in. The time is now um, 4 45 so I've had my foundation on for about 
six hours it'll be six hours at five o'clock so we're almost there and so I'm gonna zoom you guys up and tell you guys how I think it's been wearing okay so we are a little bit more up close and personal so the one thing that's kind of been bothering me is I don't know if you can kind of tell but um when I kind of smile and then like relax my face my little like smile lines are a lot more apparent but um the creamy texture of this just really seems to have fallen into some of those lines and accentuated a little bit I still have um like the dryness around my nose a little bit over here and again like right up here I saw some of those dry spots but the one thing that I can say is, ooh, let's go this way, <laughs> um, since I have started wearing it, it has been a lot more comfortable to wear as um, the time has progressed. It feels a lot more like my skin now, maybe it's just because you know, I've gotten more used to it, but it did feel for a while really dry around my nose. Um, while some of that dryness is still apparent, it doesn't feel dry which I really like. Other than that though I mean the foundation really hasn't like broken down anywhere. I didn't powder this either so this is just completely the foundation. I did use a little bit like I said in my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray just because I need this foundation to last today. Um, but I mean really other than that other than kind of the little stuff around my um, mouth and then around my nose and you know up there it looks pretty good. Pretty much looks like it did when I applied it. So uh, yeah I'll check back in maybe later tonight. I might just have to take a picture um, because I'm not going to get home until around like midnight so we'll see if I decide to um, do a check-in or not but I will at least have a picture inserted somewhere if not a video so yeah I will see you guys in a little bit bye